Stop, 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 stop! Ah. It's the darkest I've ever been on the hill. The chopper still had this headlight on, floodlight, whatever you call it. Man, is it dark still. Like up in the timber there, it's still dark. Oh, and it's rainy and windy. It's actually pretty good wind, actually, compared to the camp. Pretty good breeze. Rain isn't as bad as the, the camp. So hopefully it, hopefully it stops or it lessens. Yeah, I gotta put a new pad in up over there. I had to go buck a log there I fell yesterday and a couple of the trees and then I go work in the pad. Ah, oh, what a miserable morning. Oh man, what a miserable, miserable day it's gonna be. It's just pouring, I'm just sweating. This raincoat, rain coat and pants is like a sauna suit. Just traps the heat. <laughs> okay, so I got this big snag here. It's a big tree, but it broke off halfway up. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to probably put a pretty big undercut in it. It's gonna be dumping her down there because the pad's gonna be right there. Yeah. Okay. Rotten. I'm gonna tighten up my boots. I figure today I'm gonna try using my Mendel boots in the rain. You can see how waterproof they are. Because when these boots are corked by Hoffman boots, but they're a Mendel brand, so Hoffman's got to take the whole sole off to put the corks in. And again, we got to, I guess we glue it back together, stitch it. <clears throat> so there's no guarantee that they're waterproof, but I grease them really well, so. Let's see how waterproof they are.
<laughs> yeah, that was an easy one. The hollow that was. <laughs> okay. So I just heard the radio and I was cutting. Uh, the other day we had a guy get hurt, and there's only one time in the entire day where the pilot. Uh, chatting radio. Um, there's one time where the pilot doesn't have his radio on him, and that's when he's feeling up. So he flies everyone on the hill, and after he's done that, he feels up, and he's at his radio all, all day for his emergency. Well, the other day when the guy got hurt, it was just a minor thing, it ended up being just a little minor cut. Um, it just happened to be right when he was feeling up. So we're trying to call the pilot and he's not answering. But it's like, uh, like a, just under 10 minutes we're trying to call the pilot, but he's feeling up. And uh, so the new company procedure is when the pilot feels up in the morning, everyone shuts down for 10 minutes until the pilot gives the okay that he's back on the radio. So that's a new thing we're doing. So it's the first for me, I've never had that before. So it's a, you learn something new, you know, even been in the bush for years and years and years, there's always an improvement that can be made. So, and it, sometimes it takes a close call or an accident before, you know, changes get made sometimes, but being proactive, like this company is, I'm working for, very safety conscious, like top notch. So right now I'm just gonna file up and then I'm going to pack my gear up closer to where the new pad's going to be. So, yeah. Got to keep moving or I'm going to get cold because I'm already like pretty damp with sweat. Yeah. Miserable days like this, you got to have a rash guard. I got this blue rash guard. Yeah, it's a must have. Cold, wet days like this. And a thermos. Thermos full of tea. <laughs> okay. See you guys on the next big one, which I don't know. Probably one of those trees up there. Up on the ledge up there. Too much on that side, far side. Okay, now this one, this is where the pad's gonna be. This one here is leaning pretty heavy that way, so that's where it's going. But I have to get it below the school arm here. Don't want to hit the school arm, you get hung up or break it off or what have you. Have a piece come back at me.
and cut some more up. So jump the gun on that one. Okay. that lay it outside hill right nice and level <laughs> so I made this one higher than that one because the time I cut down like the slope of the undercut there because uh, uh, the stringer is going to be on the edge here so I want to make sure that I can cut this down and I'll have that slope in the way because if the back cut was perfectly where I wanted the stringer to be, but then I got that slope of the undercut, now it's too low. So I just, you can always cut it down, right? Huh. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna get this one here. Guess I'll get this one now. Let's do it right now.
I guess we're going to cut more up. Ha <laughs> ha.
Yeah, it all cut up nicely in the end there. So it dropped down a long ways. <laughs> My undercut was good enough. I just this pocket here. This, the, the tree was more oblong shaped than it was around, so I didn't anticipate there's so much more on the far side to cut. Whew. That's a standing in an awkward position there. But look how far down it is. Too far down. It's a good 20. Oh uh, well. Right down there it's probably 15 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet. <laughs> yeah. Should have the camera in a better spot. I want to get this pad in before we get fogged out. I don't know if we're going to get the day in, so I want to get this pad in. And then once the pad's in, then I can go back down there and finish the day off down in my quarter there. So you see, it's like bluff right here. It wraps around a sharp point, and then it's just steep ground, and then it tapers out to the rest of the hill. But then right up here is almost flat. Pretty nice, eh? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, uh, it's good still. Like, uh, it's foggy, but it's thin, eh? It's still pretty good where, where I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're... <laughs> the boss is getting a, a weather check. <sighs> wants to get a weather check. Fog check. Okay, I gotta get cracking here. I think I'm just gonna hammer down a bunch of trees and then maybe I'll turn the camera back on when I'm ripping boards or something. See you guys here in a bit. So, there's one stringer here. I'll have to cut off the part that's hanging over the edge. I just feel a big snag. Well, you guys seen it. So, I think I'll try and use four stumps here. Right, those two up there, that one, and this one. I'll just rip this into a big stringer. And I'll make the stumps lower because it's not very steep ground here. I can, I can put these stumps, I can make them real low. So it should be easy to lift this one onto here. So worked out pretty well, that did. And then I got short stubby snag there for boards and I got that one there for boards. And then I also have that nice green cedar with all the limbs on it if I needed to. Yeah, I made that little hemlock stump high just to hold wood up from rolling onto the pad. I don't think it's going to be an issue anyways, but I just did it just because. But I might have to hike all the way down there to the toe end or way down there to the lower pad because we're getting fogged out right now. Sounds like we're going to be hiking off the hill. I won't be able to get this pad done in time, which is a shame because I'm, uh, I'm heading out. I'm heading out for a couple of days, got a family function to go to, so I was trying to get this pad done in time, but we were fighting the weather this whole shift. We missed a bunch of days because of weather and got a bunch of part days. So I was really hoping to get this whole day in, so the guy comes in and fills in for me. He doesn't have to hike his gear all the way across the face from the tow in over there. We can just land at this pad and just go down my trail to uh, my quarter. I'm going to start cutting here until I get the word that we're heading out. Trying to have a bite to eat. We got a lemon loaf, I think. Yep. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's getting better now. Season this uh, lemon loaf with a little sawdust from my on my hand. <laughs> mm. Got a bit of a light breeze coming. I'm saving my wool sweater in my bag. It's nice and dry. If I was wearing it right now, I'd just be, I'd still be soaked with sweat, but I'd be hot. I'd be way too hot. So put on it then today when I'm waiting for the chopper. Whew. Whew. That was hot. <laughs> oh, I swallowed that last clump of tea there. Okay, I got to that. I'm going to start doing some ripping. Always clean around the edges of the lid here. So I don't need any sawdust inside. Okay, I do a little bit of time lapse just because.
Okay, so I got uh, two stringers and a board cut up. So I got one real long one, it's 21 feet. Well, I, made it, I made it 22, a little extra. And then I got a real big fat one right here. It's like over eight inches square, but it's it's dead. It's from a snag, so it would solid, but it's just, it's very light. Um, so even though it's so big, uh, it's still maneuverable. It'll be, it'll be pretty heavy, but if it was like a wet green tree, there's no way I'd be able to lift that. It's two of us anyway. And I got one board over there. And then, so I got this leaning downhill little cedar here. I'll get the snag after. But I'm gonna try and swing it. If I can swing it, land right on top of that there, my stringer, then that would be awesome. And I'll make boards out of that. So if that doesn't work, it breaks off down the hill or something, then I got this snag here. I was thinking about maybe making boards out of that, but it's a poor quality condition. I don't do all that ripping just to find a big crack in the middle of the board or something. So I'm just gonna dump that one down the hill. And then I got this one here, but it's really limmy. Really limmy. It's gonna be a big mess I have to clean up after I rip the boards. So I wanna try this one first. Like I say, it's got a pretty good downhill lean, so we'll see where it goes. I'm just gonna feel up first. Okay, it's not looking good. It's leaning downhill and back the other way. It's not a heavy downhill lean. So, I still might have a chance. We'll have to wedge her. Okay, see if we can do this. Stop, 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 stop! Ah, oh. oh, man. I just slid off down the mountain. Oh. So close. So close. I guess I gotta make that real brushy, limmy cedar. I gotta have to cut that one down now. I got two other snags to get, then I'll get that one. There's some guys up the valley that they're pulling out, it's too windy. And they were questioning the fog. Yeah, chat on the radio, they're talking about fog and wind up the valley there. But where, we, where I am, I can see across the valley quite easily. It's only a light breeze. Yeah, go ahead. There's like tons of chat on the radio right now. So I found my 
my board tree. I make boards out of that. And then we're good to go. Okay, I'm almost out of battery here. I'll switch over to my phone. So I got the boards ripped. I only got six boards, but a couple of them are pretty wide. And my partner's cutting trail over here. Got three boards here. Two boards over there. That third one there isn't is too thin. We got one thick board over there. So I'm going to move these boards down beside these two and then I'm going to get the stringer out of here. It's pretty heavy but I'll, I'll clean it up so when my partner gets here we can easily move it over to those two logs there. Or I mean stumps there. But I need his line level because I forgot to bring my line level and string so I'll have to use my partner's. Hopefully it's long enough to go from that stump to that one to... Well we'll see. But it's cleared right up. But we had a pretty good uh, gust of wind come in. It's a pretty strong gust come. Uh, four other guys pulled off the hill up the valley there. There are a few other guys working still, and we're working. But for visibility, it's cutting way better, so it's fine now for visibility. Oh, oh I thought he was. Oh, I guess maybe he's cutting a walk log or something. Yeah, I got some time before he gets here to tidy up.
There we go, we got her done. The wind's picking up now. Heard a big gust blowing in here. Clouds are moving fast, real fast. Yeah, it's a good day today. Show you the pad. Yeah. This is the, the board we use to get to the boot in the back of the chopper. We got huge, thick beams. And that one there has got to be like 10 inches thick, close to a foot. That right there, the stringer. We got a couple four inch boards. This one here is huge, too. It's 22 feet, but we got a full stump right in the middle here. Right there. So I'll fill that tree right there. Probably see it in the time lapse. Fill that one there, and then I'll fill that snag down there, real nasty one. I'm gonna fill that hemlock right there. So a little pocket here for something to get. Then it'll be nice, open, completely open for the chopper. Nice big approach. I mean, it's pretty good here. I mean, it's a big opening as it is, but he'll have a nice approach coming in here. Whoever gets that there tomorrow. Yeah, look at the wind, eh? gusts that come and go. It's not a steady wind. It'll come down and the big gust will come and come down a bit and then another big gust. But we've got a couple of big ones to get. Some nice big ones in here. A couple of big nasty snags right there. Big nasty hemlock snag, another hemlock snag, real dangerous one. Let's watch out for. But yeah, like how far down that is. Good 50 feet to that log down there. Yeah. And then the, here is all the big blowdown patch right here. There's a root wad that the poachers, timber thieves got. And uh, see there, that's the timber thieves fell that tree. Or maybe it's a log they bucked. So there's another one over there. I think that was a snag they fell. And there's root wad, root wad, root wad. Root wad over there. Big root wad right there. Oh, another one right there, it's over. There's a little pad way down there. And we're last trip. Yeah, the breezes. Yes. Yeah, she's windy. That's the road out of here. Right out there. I'll fold that saddle and out. Yeah. Oh, there's that. So, that stump, there's a tree right there. It's got to be backed. That's too close to quitting time. So, I'll, someone will have to get in the morning. enough time for tea. So I'll leave my saw here for the next couple days while I'm on time off. I'm looking up the hill. I don't know if there's old heli block up there, blow down patch, or what, because there's a big open area up there. I don't know. I don't know what's up there. Over there is, a, I think, a conventional block. I think we over there. Ribbon. ribbon. Oh, you see ribbon? ribbon? Oh, you see ribbon by the snag? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that snag right there is a the top line. There's a ribbon right there. Okay, well, I mean, it kind of makes sense because there's a big, big gap out there. Big opening. I have to go chase those snags, though. But the end is in sight, sort of. Still got lots of cutting yet. I'm going to have some tea. Split the armpit in this one. I've already had this side go, and I sewn it up and then glued it. Now it's this turn. This side's turn. Split right open on the seam. 
This is so old. They've had this for like over two years. It's been heavily abused, so I got my money's worth out of it. I'll patch her up though. It's still good. You can hear the wind through the trees. It's so, so loud. It's a white caps over there. Got a long drive ahead of me. Gotta get going. And I'm out of here. Yeah. I got about five hours of driving. That's four o'clock. I know it looks brighter on camera, but it's actually pretty dark out. that we built today you can't see it but it's right behind those trees out there in the middle of the screen right behind those trees right up there and the lower pad is oh, right there right in the middle of the screen there's that horizontal board right there in the middle of the screen there and then everything over everything over here is all me and basically straight up over is me and over this way 
my partner is my partner's towing is just over there. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. It's a little miserable out right now. I was looking down the valley towards the ocean. Got a herd of elk here heading to camp. Big, holy smokes. That's cool.